Hi friends, welcome back to another vlog. I just got back from Walmart and I actually like went inside and did some shopping, but I got some new peppermint mocha coffee creamer and also the Little Debbie Christmas cakes. I love these Little Debbie ice creams, especially the Cosmic Brownie one. Um, a couple years ago or last year, whenever this first came out, these were always sold out. Now at my Walmart, they have an entire freezer full of just these. So got it for myself to try and then okay so i've mentioned before that my kids i've even shared them on here before um that my kids each have like their own christmas tree in their room it's just like a little two foot tree and so i got these tiny ornaments so they could each um have like uh, get have have their own ornaments to make their trees a little more individual my house is too loud toddlers are watching mickey mouse um anyways so i got them these ornaments um, but I'm going to have the elves on the shelves bring them this weekend. So this is for my youngest. Just some like woodland creatures. And they all have like an accessory, a sweater or a scarf or hat. Um, so I thought that would be good for a baby. This is for my oldest. They also had dinosaur ones, but they were kind of like toddler looking. Um, so I thought these would be more age appropriate. I also like them. They're kind of like cardboard, cardboard you know, like a thick not cardboard card what is this um it's like the they won't break as easy um so i do really like these especially for a little kid tree and then this one is going to be for my six-year-old some colorful candy canes and then my three-year-old was with me um, and so i just like grabbed a bunch and was like which one do you want um, and these are what she picked out. I don't think she even really knows what nutcrackers are. I think she just picked them for the bright colors. But they're still really, really cute. Um, and so the elves are going to bring these. And then they'll each have... Um, they can make their trees a little more, you know, individualized. I shared them, I think my first vlog of Vlogmas, and they each have like a different color star. They each have a different tree skirt. They each have a different color tinsel. Um... So I'm trying really hard to like make them more individualized, I guess, because last year they all had like the exact same ornaments and those ornaments are still the ornaments they've been using this year. They're just like little colorful balls. Um, so now they can at least have something make them a little more individual. Okay, friends, um, we have an ugly sweater party tomorrow. So I wanted to show you what the kids and I are all wearing. It's all old stuff that we've previously owned, hand-me-downs for the girls, etc., etc. This one's mine. I haven't worn this in probably like five years. Um, that's the last time I went to an ugly sweater party. But um, this little reindeer with sequins glasses. And then my son's sweater is actually, he's going to wear mine because he doesn't have one. But I'm afraid the neck might be kind of like, look at how it is. Um, but the rest of it is pretty like, gender neutral you know um so he wanted to wear this shirt under it so you know it'll have like a little pop of christmas color too plus i think having the collar with um this neckline will look nice and then my youngest daughter and my oldest daughter okay so my oldest daughter still fits in her penguin um christmas sweater but my now three-year-old um outgrew hers and it fits the now one-year-old so they're gonna match and then my middle daughter who's three is going to wear her brother's old sweater that has a dinosaur eating a reindeer um my three oldest kids will not have worn it this is our everyone loves this sweater all of my kids love it uh, any adults that see it love it um i thought like it might be a little scary for kids but all of my kids think it's the funniest thing. So that's what we are all wearing for um, Ugly Sweater Party. My oldest daughter and I, I also have some Christmas earrings that I found that I've never worn either pair. I, I got a big pack of surgical steel earrings. I don't know, maybe a year, a half, year and a half ago. And it came with a couple Christmas pairs. So um, never been worn and my daughter and I are going to wear them. And I'll just let her pick her favorite pair and I'll wear the other pair. I also got these off Amazon, um, so let me open it up. These are for the elves. They're little costumes for the elves. Okay, so I thought like tonight might be a good night for them to wear, um, and I'll put like a little note about us dressing up, so they wanted to dress up too. Um, it'll be on my YouTube shorts. Y'all see how I'm doing this in front of a clothes, 
a dryer full of, full of clothes that I need to fold. Um, but we've got a candy cane one. Face goes there. Um, gingerbread man. Ooh, it's a Christmas tree and it has gems on it. And then a snowman. And then this, I believe, goes around the snowman's neck. Yeah, so... So there's that, it was a four pack. I'll have these up in my Amazon storefront in your, if you're interested. Also just finished these up for the party. Some Christmas crinkle cookies. These are, I'm pretty sure these are all my kids' favorites. They kind of taste like brownies and I do have the recipe on my channel. If you're interested, I'll link it down below. It's a few years old, but it's up. Okay y'all, I have a little sheen haul for y'all. But first, if you are in my family, please, um, skip out of this video because I don't want to spoil your Christmas present for you. So literally pause it now and um, get out. But if you are not my family, here's a little sheen haul. Um, maybe some Christmas present ideas. I don't know when this video is going up and I, actually it might go up after Christmas. Um, so maybe it won't have any ideas at all. Maybe it'll be gift ideas for birthdays or something, but um, I'm going to share it now. Okay. So first off, I got a ton of these bracelets. I got two for myself that say mama. Um, one in like a uh, dark brown and one in like a beige. I got two for myself. They say mama. I got, I got quite a few things for myself, but I also got some presents. Um, and then a bunch of the other ones. Here's another one that says mama for my sister. Um, and then one that says grandma and then a bunch that say aunt. I got a bunch of aunts for all the lovely ladies in my family in various colors. I tried to get them like with each individual color I thought a person would prefer. So all of these plus two for myself because you can't Christmas shop without getting yourself a little something, right? Oh, my flash went on automatically. Um, but then since I was looking at all the like mama bracelets and stuff, um, these came up in my recommended. Um, this mama keychain, like a wooden mama keychain, and then it has kind of like this cow print on the tassel. So I'm going to put this on my purse. And then these stacking bracelets, but one of them also says mama. And aren't they beautiful? They're kind of like a pearlescent finish. Um, these like white little they're not actual crystals, but crystal looking beads and then the gold, cute. And then I also got these stacking bracelets. Do these have, say anything? No, it's just a plain little circle. Um, these stacking bracelets, which I, I just thought they were really pretty. They look um, really beige on camera, but they actually do have like a tint of pink to them. They're somewhere between like a, I would describe them as like a pinky beige, but they look very pink on camera. These um, wooden earrings were also a gift. How gorgeous. Then I also got a few of these um, Texas necklaces. I also got one for myself, so I opened it up. Just a little Texas state pendant. And then here on the little card, it says, I love Texas. Make a wish and put on your necklace. Where is a reminder of your wish? The more you believe, the closer you'll be. Um, don't, I don't necessarily care for that, but I, I mostly got them for the pendant. How cute. And then these, I wish I got them for myself. They are so gorgeous. Handmade with love. Um, just a bunch of bracelets. Do all things with love. Be powerful, beautiful, brilliant, and brave. I just think they are stunning. Um, so got four of those and all different gemstones. My what's in my kid's stocking video is probably already up, but um, these bracelets I'm going to give to my two older daughters um, and put them in their stocking. So um, three bracelets for each of them. They're like stackable. And then a bunch of ornaments. So this book one is for me because um, I just love reading. It's kind of scratched up. That's kind of a bummer. Um, it's got like an acrylic top on it but uh, the acrylic's a little scratched up, bummer. Um, but I love reading, so I thought this was really cute. And then my niece has um, a golden retriever, so I got this for her, um, and then also for my niece and my little brother, their initials, and I'm gonna put their names down here. Kinda like they do at those little kiosks at the mall. Um, and then the last thing is for me, and it's like this very simple, delicate necklace. It has this little 
rhinestone here. The chains are like very like frail looking, but I love it. Um, so that's also for myself, you know, I, did, I went in with the intention of getting some, you know, little gifts for everybody. Ended up doing a good chunk of the shopping for myself. But uh, yeah, that is gonna be it for now. I actually do have another sheen order coming in. It should get in before Christmas, but when it does get in, I will of course share it with y'all. Y'all, I went to put a string on this and I realized I was showing you the back. This is the front, not scratched up. I'm so much more impressed with that. Even the color is like um, brighter. So um, at first uh, I was a little disappointed, but so much better. Hi y'all, it is super early in the morning. I'm about to take the kids to school. It's the last day before winter break. And look, we finally have a tiny, tiny bit of snow. friends I'm gonna try to do this really really fast I am leaving to my kids Christmas parties their class Christmas parties with toilets in the background let's move this over um, I'm leaving to my kids Christmas parties about 20 minutes so um, this is going to be stocking stuff for ideas for men honestly I kind of get the same thing every year I'm just showing you what I did different this year starting off this could be a stocking stuffer it could be um, a gift I'm probably going to hang it off the side of the stocking because it does have like the little hook. Um, but just some new fuzzy slippers. Aren't those nice? Um, also, if you're only getting them these, you could just shove these in their stocking. This would definitely fit. My dog is also right here. So you hear little puppy noises. He's not a puppy anymore. He's two. Um, but he's still my puppy. Anyways, so starting off with these, I got these at Walmart. Um, and I don't know, they looked nice. They got like nice solid bottom, fuzzy on the inside, knitted. Um, so there's those. A bunch of food starting off with, I got four of these like beef stick, beef jerkies. Um, honestly, most of, mostly what I do is like candy and personal care items. So we've got trolley gummy worms, gummy bears, from Haribo, two Milky Ways, and two Snickers. And then for like the personal care items, I got an electric toothbrush. Um, these are my personal favorite electric toothbrushes because they're not like too big and too bulky. Um, but electric toothbrush, Sensodyne toothpaste, Old Spice with lavender. I just picked like my favorite scent. Um, Oh, it smells so, so, so lovely. And then um, these I have not even seen before until I was looking for bars of soap. Um, in the past, I've gotten Dr. Squatch. Y'all, this is so insane. They sell Dr. Squatch deodorant at Walmart, but not the Dr. Squatch soaps. And personally, I don't think the Dr. Squatch deodorant works very well. The soaps are fabulous though, and I wish they sold them at Walmart. It'd make, it would make life so much easier than ordering them online. But I did get this, the Harry's soap. Harry's, I know they sponsor a lot of YouTubers, um, particularly their shaving kits. They have a bunch of soaps, shampoos, etc. This is a two pack of their bar soap in the scent Stone. I didn't smell it, I just grabbed one. Um, and so that's also a stocking stuffer. So that's everything. Um, all of That's all I've got for you for stocking stuffer ideas for him. Nothing super exciting. Honestly, my kids stockings. I think I did a great job with their stockings. Um, men are hard to shop for though. So, you know, just a bunch of personal care items, favorite snacks, um, a comfort thing. I will link, I've done like full dedicated what's in his stocking videos and I'll link them down below. Just gonna include this quickly in today's vlog though. Also one more thing, I got this in the mail yesterday. It is an influencer box for a perfume. I got a full size perfume. Um, it's the Juliet Has a Gun 
not a perfume you did perfume um i think that's so pretentious to say not a perfume like that's the name of it not a perfume um but it's a lovely scent i've got kids coming in here they followed me in here when i came back in, Come in Lori. okay i'll get you more anyways um you take it out of the box and it's in like this big styrofoam block juliet has a gun not a perfume this um, bottle though is like absolutely gorgeous. It's like a matte bottle, but then it has like little shiny designs all across. And the perfume is lovely. The first time I sprayed it, I got a nose full of rubbing alcohol, um, but it is, a, it is a lovely perfume. Um, what did it, the, the influencer box didn't even have a card. Usually they come with cards that talk about the product a little bit. It's not, there's not even one at the bottom. Um, if you're new to influencer, it's a way that influencer, um, it's a way that anyone can get free products, um, that they send it to you for free and then you write reviews on their website. And they also hope that because they're sending you the product for free, you will share it on your social media like I am doing now. Um, what are the notes in this? It is a molecular composition and will not resemble anything you've ever tested before made of a single ingredient, Cetalox. Has no top or heart notes, so while testing it, chances are you will experience a certain weakness at your first glance, but don't rush too fast into conclusion. It is one of our top sellers, and there is a good reason for that. The fragrance simply stands out. Okay, so I cannot even describe to you what this fragrance sells like. I'm going to be honest, even the description, very pretentious. I don't like that. Just tell me what, what it smells like. I can't, I'm like the worst at describing perfumes. It's very um, sweet, floral maybe. I have no idea what the hell Cetalox is. That means absolutely nothing to me. Never heard of it before. Um, so there's that. <laughs> this is like probably the worst review ever for them. Um, it is a lovely scent though. You know, the whole not a perfume thing, there's no notes thing, yada yada aside. It, it does have a lovely scent. Um, I'm just not a big fan of, we're not like other perfumes. We're not like other scents. Um, can y'all tell that I've had two cups of coffee already this morning? I gotta get my, myself pumped up to go to this, um, these Christmas parties today. So, that is it for now. I'm going to, I've got my, my ugly sweater on and I've got the new jewelry on that I also shared last night. And, um, uh, I'll see y'all later i don't i don't think i have anything to vlog tonight i don't think there's anything special going on but i will see you all later all right friends that is going to be it for today's vlog i've got a uh, family coming in next week so next vlog is probably going to be like a huge montage like a lot of clean with me a lot of pack with me um so much like more than my regular vlogging um so keep an eye out for that video probably right after christmas but yeah i hope y'all enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one Bye, friends.